Probably Marty <laughs> Pello. Oh, is that the way I, did I bring that out on you? I don't know. Yeah, that you look sort of... Both Cuddly. of you in your blue, it's all, yeah. it's all working. Uh, you know, the only reason I'm wearing blue is because my team's playing tonight, Rangers and Man U. And, and they're losing as and well. And they're losing, unfortunately, already. So he's in already. a bad mood. Oh, They've dear. just gone 1-0 down. One well, nil. but it'll be all right. They've got time. How long do they play for? It's like three hours? I know. Yeah. Three or four. Four, hours, yeah. four or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so. a girl. OK, so let's talk about Brittany. She's pulled out. If you've got a flu, shouldn't you just have a hot drink? You as would opposed imagine to, so. Do you know what I mean? As opposed Especially going, all the... going to Scotland, she could have that uh, hot toddy, you know, with the whiskey or something, yeah, then she could work up a good sweat, yeah. you know, and then hopefully it could maybe break. It could only be a 24-hour bug she's got. But can't we just put ourselves for a moment into the mind and body of a 21-year-old woman, Richard? Well, I think that's very hard, isn't it? Particularly no, Britney Spears. But I, I would say this. I think it's, it looks to me as though Scotland's taking it very personally. The, the Scottish Sun leading with it on the front page there, barely a mention of it down here uh, in London. That says to me that the people in Scotland are offended and upset. But what she has done, arguably, is get herself more publicity out of pulling out than, than actually by turning up there and yeah. being there with all those other people. She's the mistress of that. Yeah. Mar mm -hmm. Also, Marty, you were 21 when Wishing I Was Lucky came out and Sweet Little Mystery, both... You were 21. She's 21. Do you think? Do you have any sympathy for the pressure that this young woman of beauty, with a heaving waxwork model in Man and Two Swords and kissing Madonna and no, Christina Aguilera? No, no. She's going about kissing people and she's going to catch diseases and that. And maybe she's caught a flu and she's doing a lot of kissing. You've got to watch. <laughs> Go watch. You know. And maybe she's picked up a bug there. Yeah. And, and it's that. possible. I've kind of racked my brains and that. It's the best solution I can come up with. Um, Richard, of all the people you've interviewed, etc., do you not think that she should be... There's something in this that sort of smells of unprofessionalism. I.e., yes. Madonna, all that lot. You know what? You turn up, Marty will agree. Even if you don't fancy it, I could be at home eating lentils, but, you know, you turn up... You do face, the show. You, you do. do. And, and, and at best, she's going to mime at this thing, and I don't mean right. to be rude about her, but she, all she's going to do is mime. So, essentially, she is a dancer, and I imagine that with a bit of flu, you can have a lamb sip, and you can still dance on stage. And you just soldier on. And soldier... I've met her a couple of times. One time, she was kind of frosty. The other time, she was really nice. She, she does blow hot and cold, I think. OK. She, she, well, certainly cold on this occasion. Yeah. But she has been spotted shopping mm. in her hometown in Louisiana, ah. which could be a big story, because she, she was a well, toss-up between shopping and the MTV... She should have done the MTV. Was that in the pharmacy? Yeah, you could have been. I don't know what they're having. Good point. Hotel. And I think uh -huh. we've, all, we've all called in ill at work for flu uh -huh. and gone uh -huh. shopping. I don't think going shopping indicates that necessarily she isn't ill. But what's she going to miss out on? I do beg your pardon. Yeah, no, no, go Because ahead. her single was out the same day as yours, her album's out the following week the same day as yours. All that promotion, how important is that now, given that, as you rightly said, she's roping in the publicity for this? Well, she's she... mission accomplished. She's already done, as uh, you know, Richard pointed out. You know, I mean, well, she's got loads of column space, so mm. job done. There's a wee bit of controversy about that she's not going to go to Scotland. I would have liked her if it went to Scotland, you know. But, I mean, if you've got, a, as you say, a cold and you've got to do a more colder climate, God knows, I think she's made the right Scotland decision. Scotland doesn't need Britney. It's better than that. Mick I Britney. think... Do you Mick think this might be just like, you know, I went to an all-girls school, you know, mm. there was problems in... I would have liked to have done that. Yeah, right. it was nice. Tight little... No. Anyway, really? is there an element of Christina's there, she's been up for four awards, her ex-boyfriend's there, Justin, with a very good-looking family. These are all yeah. the points. These is, are all the points. Is there an element yeah, of just, valid. you know what, I'm going home to eat some grits? Yeah, absolutely right. And the other thing about, that's interesting about Britney is Christina has clearly overtaken her. Christina, uh -huh. now incredible star. Yeah. It's beautiful. Great song. Yeah. Uh, and, and genuinely, song of the she's year. a very song of the year, absolutely. Mm. Well, some bit that or that will be on say. Certainly one of the two. Yeah. But huh? That's a close one. It's a, it is a close one. Mm. Um, but that's a debate for record of the year, not for liquid news. Quite. But I think that Chris, Christina's overtaken her, maybe to some extent she is embarrassed by the fact that she uh, last few years have been a bit shoddy for her. She's right. had no great success for a while. We're all getting on oh. very well, aren't we? <laughs> and there's more. Hold it there. In moments, Mariah Carey lands her chopper on number nine the pressure of the midweeks which we sense even more here because people come on a Monday and then you don't hear from them on Wednesday for you next Monday how will you cope with the stress of it or do you not get stressed anymore oh, no, no, I'm powerless whether people choose to buy my record or not and I'm kind of cool with that you know all I can do is let people know that I've got a record coming out and if they buy it great if they don't they're lost okay this is the <laughs> brand new one it's called lot of love lot of love Look, oh, is that how I'm supposed to say it? No, I just have a feel of saying it. Okay, Laura, good. Good, Laura, we can Laura. do it in all kinds of different accents. Can we? Good. Yeah. Uh, and the new album's out, which is fantastic, and it's oh, called yeah. um, Between the Covers. We've been playing it oh. a lot. Um, and can I just say that your uh, brass in pocket is better than The Pretenders? We all decided. Oh, I've been such a big fan of The Pretenders, you know, and I love... Oh, I think she's a great artist, and they just feel good songs. You know, and it's a pleasure to get, you know, to sing these songs. How did you get the idea? Is it true? Because in there it says I was just in the studio. That's exactly it. 
You know, it was just when I couldn't be bothered recording my own songs. I said, let's play other people's songs, and, I, and, I, and that's the way I kind of go about most of my albums. And, you know, after two or three albums, I had this kind of mix of songs, and I just liked the shape of it. And thought, I'll put that out. Do you think, what do you read into the fact that you're still cooking it? Didn't you go platinum twice since you went solo? And we remember, like, um, we've actually got a bit, a bit of a clip of uh, Bill Nye doing old um, Love Is... Uh, what is it? What's that Love one? Is What's that famous one? Have a listen to this. Oh, I know that song, eh? I feel it in my <laughs> toes. <laughs> That's him doing it for the new Richard Curtis movie. Oh, it's fantastic. Give him a vote. Love oh. is all around. Oh. It is properly fed. <laughs> ah, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little in joke by Richard Curtis. I didn't know that. Oh, that. I, yeah. I, I, oh, I, 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 Such a clever boy. Yeah. That was number one. I know we just wanged on about the midweek charts for 15 <laughs> weeks. <laughs> look, at uh, look at that. We could do a haircut. Like a little look at snug that. muffin. Ah, that. It's look at that. It's well, lovely. Yeah. You look lovely. Oh, You're better looking now than then, though. Yeah. Oh, can we? You no, think you so? are. Don't no. you think? I don't know. Well, that's biased. I'm not speaking as a bloke. This, but I, no, you're no, right. you're totally this is the darkness. Um, now, I just have to ask you about your schedule, because yeah. I might be wrong, but you're going to be in Chicago and Birmingham, I believe. Birmingham, yeah. Then you are touring all of, what I can tell, January and February. Mm -hmm. When are you going to have a whole... Like, how does that work? Because it, I looked every day. Oh, are you well, on no. a bus? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, well, I just, you know, you it's a busy time. Off? No, because uh, I know after I finish that, I go, I go to Broadway, and I'll, I'm doing Chicago musical in Broadway for another couple of months there, so I think I'll probably finish about June, July. Yeah. What will you do if you get flu? Will you plough on or pull out? <laughs> like me, I'll just tap into that old Uncut spirit and soldier on. Uh, it's good you to see. see? Um, I found in the cuts your favourite joke, which I believe you gave to a tabloid. Oh, really? You, would you like to repeat it for us? No, I haven't a clue. No, <laughs> I haven't a clue, but I'm sure it's... Sure it was it's about true. dentists. Really? It was very funny. Really? Cool. But, uh, yeah, you probably made it up. Richard, when you look at Marty Pello here and now, then and now, yeah. the big uh, Marty P, does, do, you rem P? do you remember him forming like a big part of your life? I mean, sitting next to him, do you look at him and think... I think he's very science sitting next it come to him. To and oh, it's, actually... it's hard to believe that you're sitting next to the same guy because we bonded in the green room, we watched a bit of the, the Rangers Man U game. Yeah. He's such a nice chap. And I think, hang on, is it the same guy that was at number one for 15 weeks that became such a big part That's of right, people's yeah. lives? That's right, yeah, it's yeah. hard to believe. But I'll tell you what's interesting, though. The f if you, what's fascinating is looking at what you achieved there, looking at the charts now, it says a yeah. lot about what's happened to the charts. So we had Black Eyed Peas oh, on the for a long time. But now tracks come and go like that. Very little hangs around. That Pop is, music is in decline. That is very transient, but the whole record industry is, and it's forever changing, yeah. but, you know... We, that, well, we all really enjoy tracks staying at number one for a while now. Yeah, we love it's it. It's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. sold those millions back then. You'd, Kylie's gone in with 13,000 sales to the number one spot in the midweeks. Well, that's bizarre because in a bad, in a bad day with Lovers All Around, it was 150,000 a week. Yeah. So, it's fascinating. Pop is in decline. When you think the last Westlife track went in at number six, Rachel Stevens didn't make it to number one with all that publicity. Well, I'm doomed. Yeah. <laughs> best escape my court than it. It's all over. No. In just a few seconds' time, we have... But the point is, you can only comfortably wear pants like that if you have a really well-defined, muscly body. If, if, like me, you have just that little bit of excess fat, then those pants dig into it and they remind you that it's there and they kind of lower your confidence levels. <laughs> it's best to go with boxes in circumstances like that. your confidence levels, yeah. you've got a new show, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's on Channel 5. That was seamless. Yeah. Well, no I one noticed that. that. I yeah. wanted a gag about keepy uppy before we moved on to that, but we'll get one. There's just no time. It's called 19 Keys. Does everybody get a key? Yeah. Are you in the shape they of They all get key? 19 keys. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called 19 Keys. It starts next uh, month, this Monday at half seven and five, and it's on every night. And it's just like it's kind of like an old-fashioned quiz, quiz show. It's a bit like the weak, Weakest Link, but without the cruelty. So, the, what, what do I you mean, wink? That uh, would be cute. Well, that would be cute, wouldn't it? But uh, but I try not to wink, and I try not to be nasty to people. So it's rapid fire, general knowledge questions. It's now, fast and fun, and I, I think it works. Now that's the chat. bit that interests me. Do you think that the nasty streak is being weeded out? Because I think so. Well, I, well sorry, Paddy. No, no, you go. It's you. No, <laughs> it's either you or Freddie Lundberg, and they've lost Freddie Lundberg. It's gone now. So it's you better make this good. It's just blue bubbles behind me now. <laughs> but uh, I think that what, what I mean by old fashioned is that you've got a lot of quiz shows now that run in the daytime that have lots of twists. So either you have cruelty, mm. or you have shows where one of the contestants is a traitor, or you have a show where the presenter doesn't get paid unless he wins. The, you know, there's lots of contrived quiz shows mm -hmm. out there. What I think what's nice about this is that there's none of that. It's lots of questions that come at you very quickly. It's, and countdown. it's good fun. There you go. Yeah, good luck. Countdown. countdown. Countdown, but quicker. Countdown and then quicker. speed. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yes, good luck with that. Thank Starts you very much. <laughs> Upcoming, Manchester booze beyond... They get off this kilt malarkey. They come into Scotland, these foreigners, and they put on a kilt. Isn't it time to scrap that old... ...you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
Atish Orgy 6. <laughs> on the one hand, the Caravan Club of Great Britain, and on the other, Starsky and Hutch. The crime-busting duo were mobbed by a troupe of ropey dancers as they opened the annual Caravan and Leisure Show in London this morning. That, that is quite surreal, you know. I mean, that's so spooky. I'm just trying to imagine that caravan welded onto the back of that lovely car that they used to drive about in. <laughs> yeah, that. that oh, you very know? nice. Are you, do you mean to tell me that you're ignoring the Silver Ladies? The Silver Lady Caravan or the Silver, silver Lady Dances, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not doing it for me at all. No. Paddy likes and the rest. Uh, I know that you have done a corporate. We don't have time to discuss it, Mr Bacon, but is it ever worth the money? Never worth the money. It haunts you for the rest of your life. I'd urge any minor celebrities out there, stay clear. <laughs> OK, fair there, are, there are plenty. Oh, they've gone. Oh. That's it from us. Thank you both so much. Uh, join us tomorrow. David Cassidy and Elbows Guy Garvey. Coming up on 9.30, at 9.30, even on 3, is Monkey Dust. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.